Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts 3 playthrough. Uh, it is time for us to continue our journey now that you know we are done with Olympus, and we are effectively pretty much out of the prologue, but we're not fully out of the prologue, because we do have a tremendous amount of cutscenes to go through today. We begin in the Dark World, where uh, two friends are off on a little journey to go and rescue one of our lost guardians of light. Ah, oh, it's Mickey and Riku! Yay! <laughs> also, can I just say, Mickey looks so much better here than he did in um, 2.8. Oh my god. We can stop. No, just... I've been here. I should know this place. But that all seems like another life. Well, gee, uh, think of all you've seen. All the feelings you've felt. Why, you've done years of growing in almost no time at all. I remember my first time here. I was so scared. <sighs> but now my doubts and fears are gone. If anything, I feel exhilarated. And it's not because there's darkness in me. I know too well what that rush is like. This is different. And it's not adrenaline either. I know Aqua needs us, but I'm ready. I'm in control now. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're with me this time. Mm -mm. It's not me. I think it's because you finally found inside you that special strength to protect what matters. What? Sometimes you care so much for somebody that other feelings disappear. And then there's no room for fear or doubt. Is that it? Strength to protect what matters. It reminds me of a promise I made. To who? Just someone I once met. Can't tell. Sounds like a good memory. Yeah. <laughs> While we're reminiscing, Mickey, does any of this look familiar? Uh, sort of. But the realm of darkness has changed since I was here with Aqua. Yeah. yeah, last time you were here with that crew, it was playable. <laughs> Usually, I'd just follow my heart, and Aqua would show me the way. But the closer I get, the hazier our connection feels. You mean... Maybe, but we can't give up hope. Yeah. So, it, I mean, I have to say, it's so good to have, obviously, Davy Gallagher back as Riku, and obviously Brett Ewan still doing Mickey, still doing an excellent job. It's nice that I think Brett Ewan's settled in to the role a lot more now. Um, sort of, the Mickey voice just sits a lot more comfortably um, for him, and that's just, it's nice when sort of a voice actor manages to finally properly settle into a role especially one that There's is speech. as iconic as mickey mouse it's gone. huh i'm positive aqua was here but now her trail's gone dim i've been here too with sora really this is where we found our way back to the realm of light hey maybe aqua did too Aqua has fallen into an even darker abyss. Somewhere I can't see her. And I don't think we're equipped to dive any deeper than we already are. So then... <gasps> oh no! What? Riku, be careful. Even the least threatening Heartless are stronger in this realm. I got it.
And oh, look who it is! It is the Demon Tower! Thankfully, a lot easier here than he was with Aqua. Largely because Riku is like ultra powerful, and also Mickey's here, and basically you can just obliterate things. And also, like, oh my god, playable Riku! <laughs> Like, we knew this was coming from trailers, but it's still quite awesome to experience. Annoyingly, he he's only playable, like, twice in the entire game. Part of me does sort of wish that perhaps we had a little bit more playable Riku, because he's really fun to play as. But I suppose it makes sense, because Kingdom Hearts 3 is ultimately Sora's story. And so there's no need to, you know, really let all the characters in on that too much. But I do wish that they had, you know, included maybe a little bit more playable Riku. That would have, I think, pleased fans quite a bit. I mean, also, to be fair, I did also want playable Kairi. But uh, that definitely didn't happen. <laughs> What? Because somebody needs me. Who are you? Uh. Riku? Wake up! Riku! <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, he received a uh, oh. a bit of a heartless haircut right there. <laughs> Where'd the heartless go? No idea why. I no explanation why, but hey, yeah, I, I'm I'm bears. down with it. But uh, they spit you out first. Oh, thanks. I owe you. I know you feel invincible, but we're not. Are you all right, Mickey? Yeah, thanks to the new gear. But your Keyblade... Oh. <laughs> hmm. The Heartless here are stronger than what we expected. I guess we probably should have powered up our Keyblades before we came in here, huh? I think we need to go back to Master Yen's Hit's tower, so we can regroup. But Aqua's... still down here alone, facing enemies like that. I know. What if she's feeling as scared and alone, as I felt the first time I came here? How long are we supposed to keep her waiting in this awful place? But Aqua, she's like Sora. What? No, 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 no. Strong like Sora. Oh. Okay. Good. Then I guess she's going to be all right. Sora could fall into any darkness and swim his way out. Besides, we won't be long. Right. Huh? Can't use this keyblade anymore. Might as well leave it here. For the other me. What? Yes, a line which caused all sorts of confusion. Because <laughs> it's just like, are you talking Repliku? Are you talking Data Riku? Are you talking some other Riku? Like, Riku, what are you talking about? Nobody knows, I think. I mean, even having played the game, I think I know who he means, but even then, it could be any version of Riku at this point. I 
And also, can I just point out, really, really awesome world title card there for a world that we never actually get to physically visit. <laughs> it only exists in cutscenes. I see. You could not regain your strength. Ah, uh, no biggie. I still learned a lot. Regardless, Sora, you will need the power of waking. Oh. Uh, it can't be gone forever. Maybe something will trigger it real soon. Like what exactly? I know. How about a bug on the head? Hey. Perhaps it could be something that is as simple as that. Wait, you think so too? Whenever you are in need, magic happens. That is your greatest strength, Sora. You make it sound like an accident. <laughs> huh? We're back, Master! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, wow! You guys are all here! We were here before, but you didn't wait! Hey there, fellas! So, what have you three been up to? We were visiting. Oh! We to Olympus to visit Hercules! And to figure out how to get all of Sora's lost powers back. But it was a big disappointment. Oh, what a shame. But honestly, we didn't fare any better. Did you manage to figure out where Aqua is? Because Master Yen Sid said that's why you fellas left. Over the hut? Come on! Can I finally say something? We know Master Aqua made it as far as the beach that Sora and I once visited. But that's where her trail ends. Meaning? All traces of her vanish into the Great Abyss, beneath the Realm of Darkness. She's dead? No. Sora was dragged into the Abyss during his exam, and I went in after him. So I think if we find someone who is really close to Aqua, and they make the dive, they could reach her down there. I'm not sure who's even left to ask. Ventus is hidden, and Aqua's the only one who knows where. Plus, nobody's seen Terra in ages. Aqua was the last. So Aqua, she's gonna be the key to finding all three. Yes, their teacher, Master Ericus, would have been another possibility. Had Xehanort not mercilessly struck him down. Oh, the tragedy of the birth by sleep heroes. Even now, it's still absolutely heartbreaking. I'll save her. Huh? huh? You can't! But Sora, that's gonna be super hard since you don't have the power of waking. Huh? Sorry. I have no idea why that just popped out. Well, it was pretty convincing. Yeah. Better not let us down. Mm. Sora, you must focus on regaining your lost power of waking. Mickey and Riku, I recall that Master Aqua journeyed to many worlds and connected with others who could be the link we need. Good plan, sir. Riku and I will retrace her steps and see if we can find any sort of clues. But first... Hmm? We got hit pretty hard in the Realm of Darkness. My Keyblade was damaged, and the Heartless broke Riku's clean in half. So we're gonna need to get replacements before we can continue. In that case, rendezvous with Kairi and Lee. They are continuing their training under the tutelage of the wizard Merlin. Yes, sir. Also, I would like you to deliver these for me. Are they? 
Yes, they are the same as the ones I gave you. Special vestments to shield Kyrie and Lee from the darkness. We got them! What? No fair! What about my outfit, Master? Sora, don't bug him like that. I think you'd shudder it. Settle down. I have new clothes for you too, Sora. Yeah? A gift from <laughs> the good fairies. I knew you'd come through for me. Thanks. Those are no ordinary garments, Sora. Like before, they have very special powers. So it took extra time to prepare them. In addition, there is a <laughs> gift from Chippendale inside. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Happy now? Yep. Now you are all ready to proceed. Hey, wait! Don't forget about me! Jiminy! Every journey worth going on needs a cricket to keep track of it. And I can't let you start this one without old Jiminy Cricket by your side. The whole team's back. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Now to mark the beginning of a new journey. I wish for you to have this, Sora. Huh? Okay. That is a heart binder. Think of it as a good luck charm made just for you. Oh. You have a gift, Sora, for connecting with others. And this makes that gift stronger. <laughs> It's time to go! Mm -hmm. May your heart be your guiding key. See? Mm. So yes, the whole gang is back together. We've got Jiminy Cricket, here voiced by Joe Ockman, who provided the voice of Jiminy in the recoded HD cinematics. And uh, I don't know why Goofy and Donald didn't get new outfits, but uh, hey, clearly they're only as important as being uh, party members. They're not important enough to get new outfits, which is a bit sucky, but uh, I'm sure we'll live with that. Um... <laughs> Come on, when you get serious? Give me a break, okay? I told you, these things take time. Gorge, is it just me? Or is this turning into a routine? Huh? What? Uh... It's coming from you, Sora. Huh? Uh... What's this? Me, magic stop. But I don't know how. Maybe this. Hooray! He picked up. Huh? Dale? Hey, Chipper! I finally got him. Hurry up, Chip. Well, it's about time. Chip? You gotta answer the phone, Sora, or we can't give you updates. We got lots and lots of important stuff we want to tell you. That's why we asked Master Yen Sid to make sure you got this gummy phone we made you. So we'd be able to stay in touch with you at all times. And it takes pictures. Oh, you finally finished it. Say, with this gummy phone, we can talk to each other across worlds. In fact, I might even try writing my journal on it. Wow. Sounds like it's pretty handy, guys. So... What's so important? This! Back when you and Riku quested through the sleeping worlds, Riku recovered some secret research data that Ansem the Wise hid inside you! Ansem's code! Mm-hmm. We've been working our tails off trying to crack it and see what it says. The data has been encrypted, so we've only deciphered some of it. Huh? Oh. I guess we haven't spoken since the castle. I'm Ienzo. Alias is here too. And he's silent. Alias. Whatever's between you and Roxas, it's in the past. <sighs> Zora, the reason we're here is because you and your friends defeated our nobodies, thereby recompleting us. We cast off our hearts by choice, make no mistake. But we didn't know that Xemnas, or rather, 
Xehanort was deceiving us. Huh? Xemnas? Oh, he's with them! Not anymore. Xemnas and Xehanort have no hold over us now. We're just students of the heart. Exactly the same as we were before all of this began. Yeah, right. Hmm. But you know, now that I think about it, Axel's on our side now. We have friends we want to bring back to this world just the same as you. To do that, we have to work together. In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the bit of code we deciphered. Is it about me? Yes. In order to piece your memories back together, our teacher Ansem the Wise took a close look at your heart. And what he found is that your heart doesn't belong just to you. It doesn't? Gorge, you don't seem surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Just like Naminé is still inside Kyrie's. Interesting. Well, no one knows your heart better than you. To be honest, we still have a plethora of questions on our side. But the idea has merit. It's incredible enough that you and your nobody are able to coexist. If you share a heart, no wonder someone as remarkable as you caught Ansem the Wise's eye. We'll keep investigating based on your hypothesis. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie! We'll give you fellows a ring if there's anything else. Remember, me and Chip, the guys at Radiant Garden, and King Mickey and everybody are never far away. And Gemini, would you do us a favor? Teach Sora how to use the dummy phone? Leave it to me. I have to find Roxas and save him. The others are following Aqua's heart. So I'll follow Roxas's heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust the guidance that your heart gives you, Sora. That's what Master Yen Sid said. Well done. <laughs> oh, that's easy. <laughs> And there at last is our Kingdom Hearts 3 title card. They were absolute sods with the Kingdom Hearts 2.9 at the beginning. But then we finally get the Kingdom Hearts 3. The game is properly on and just, oh, I love it. I have to say that it was a lot of cutscenes. I do feel that um, the start of the game is quite um, heavy loaded with the cutscenes. I mean, this was a brilliant example. I mean, we've had basically 22 minutes of pure cutscene, which has been slightly crazy, but it has meant that uh, my voice has had a nice break. Um, we now get to enjoy the wonders of the gummy ship, but before we properly do that, um, Ienzo, obviously back, was Zexion. He's now Ienzo, back in his somebody form, voiced by Vincent Carraza, as he has been for uh, many years now, actually. And uh, yes, this is the brand new uh, improved gummy ship levels. So uh, we just get this massive wide open space to explore. And it's, it is really quite fun to be honest. Um, maybe, I mean to be fair, the way I'd describe it is, is it's a halfway house between uh, Kingdom Hearts 1's gummy ship and Kingdom Hearts 2 gummy, 2's gummy ship in the sense that you've got the sort of slow moving through areas bit that you got from Kingdom Hearts 1 um, just on a much grander, more visually pleasing scale um, but then you get the combat elements of uh, the Kingdom Hearts 2 gummy ship and these are more specifically in these sections here so you ram into a whole bunch of um, heartless ships 
and then you uh, go and murder them. You've got a different, a well, variety of different kind of challenges in them, from kill a set number of heartless, kill as many heartless as possible in the time frame, um, defeat the boss, etc. There's a there's a huge variety. Maybe not huge. But still, there's a lot of stuff actually in the Gummy Shop ship stuff that you can do. Because you've got these whole, effectively, world maps to go through, diving through space. Um, so you've got them, you've got some things called Treasure Spheres, which we'll be going over at a later point. I might run into one during this trip to well, what is obviously going to be Twilight Town. I mean, obviously. Um, but we shall see exactly sort of where it all leads. So you've got treasure spheres, you've got these heartless ship battles. Um, there's also a variety of gems that you can shoot up around the place that's quite fun. You also have uh, special constellations that you can take photos of using the gummy phone. The gummy phone is like so ridiculous, but also I kind of absolutely love it. <laughs> It's just ridiculous enough to make sense within the context of the Kingdom Hearts universe. And just in general, it's a fun idea, and also the uh, photo mode is delightful. So yeah, Treasure Spheres, the way that you get them to work is you shoot them, and then um, you basically move around them and uh, get them sorted. I don't know why that one decided it was going to turn off immediately. I got really confused here, so I'm going to be flying around this for a bit, because I'm just like, um, how do I get this to activate? Because effectively what happened there was it, I turned it on and then it turned off almost immediately, which is a bit mean, if you ask me. So I thought I was just completely missing something with this treasure sphere, and so I decided to ignore it. Um, and just go, you know what, I'm going to go to the next world because uh, I can't be bothered to sit here do absolutely so at all. I really probably should have, you know, read the instruction bit a little bit more carefully. <laughs> it's fine. I do eventually understand how the treasure spheres work, so it's all good. But I will say, like, yeah, I do actually quite like this version of the gummy ship. I would say that it's perhaps... I'd, I'd, Kingdom Hearts 2 is probably the easiest to enjoy of the three mainline gummy ship stages, or sets of stages, um, purely because you only have to do the gummy ship battles, you don't have to do this sort of travelling between the bits, but actually it's quite fun to travel between the bits here, so I'm honestly perfectly fine with the way that this whole thing works, and I would say that this is probably my favourite um, use of the gummy ship in Kingdom Hearts, um, but we'll get to explore more of that at a later point, because for now, while well, we get this lovely uh, loading screen, we get a couple of these social media-esque things throughout, um, it's time for us to head on in uh, to Twilight Town, the place which has got such a connection to Roxas, it is unreal. 